I'm Eric Harbling. I'm a painter and designer. Just landed in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Going to drive to Iowa City now to meet my cousins. I'm going to be painting their elementary school. Hopefully just get all my stuff together today, but I'm so, so excited. This is going to be super fun. Family time, painting at elementary school. Going to go drive over and get started. I thought the drive was beautiful the whole way. Now I got a few things to do. Number one is see the wall so I can get a better gauge of the size. Then I'll know what size lift to order and same with the amount of paint they get. Pictures can never really tell everything and seeing the wall in person it was really a dream wall. But there are a few concerns from the gym teacher. The lines that are on the wall that she uses for instruction, like for a certain game, throw it above this one or things like that. So, but now I got another item on there to rework the sketch. Not a big deal, but it will change the amount of paint that I need to get because those solid lines will be a little more than just a squiggle. The lift just got here, but we're a little concerned that it might not be tall enough. We'll see. Ooh, it was a perfect fit. All set up, and the main painter for the school district was able to help out and put down all this plywood, had this all set up, so there's going to be no issue on the floor with the lift. But one thing I do need to worry about is making sure to mask everything off. Uh, there's all those windows on the side of it, so I don't want to get any overspray on there when I use the sprayer to get the background. So I'm going to get all that set up now. Good practice is <laughs> not always my forte, so. Usually I'm a very messy painter, so this is a good exercise for me. And also to not blame it on my painting style and actually, you know, just be clean for once. Masked off all the windows with plastic and tape, and then also went back through those middle lines and put tape on the edges so I can keep that line really crisp. I got a little bit of help from the best lift drivers ever. It is so much fun driving these things. So now it's time for the most fun part of getting the sprayer going and just covering the background. I've never used this exact one before, but it looks like it's got all the knobs and different things of the ones I've used in the past. So I think I can figure this out. So All right, the next step is putting this guy, this tube into here. And before doing that, I put the other tube into this water bucket because that's going to spit everything out when I prime it. And I want to make sure that it's going into water and not just somewhere randomly. Now that tube is in the paint. That is pretty unfortunate. It couldn't just go through that hole, but whatever. Uh, this right now is set to spray. And then I'm gonna, I found the on and off switch, which is right here. So I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to set it to prime. And basically, I'm watching this, waiting for that to turn blue. And then once it turns blue, I should be go to switch it back to spray. Oh, blue, so stop it. It's all primed. There's still probably water left in the hose from whenever it was cleaned out last. So gotta kind of wash it all out. So I'm gonna do it all in my water bucket um, and just spray it until, again, until I see the blue. Uh, hopefully that'll be soon and then um, should be good. So I get to turn in blue and so is my hand because it's spraying back on it. So good to go. Alright, I think that is it for tonight. Using the sprayer was awesome once I got it going. Uh, it's not drying as fast as I was hoping, so I think I'm not going to get the sketch in there. I'm just going to leave it to dry overnight. It's already been so much fun. It's such a perfect wall. Yeah, I'm so happy about it. It's going to get started really early in the morning and get that sketch going. To get the sketch on the wall, I make a grid, and I do that with just drawing a bunch of random stuff in chalk first, like the first thing that comes to mind. And the fun thing about it being in elementary school, the gym teacher would bring the kids over and kind of explain best she could what I was doing. It was really fun hearing their reaction. Do you see a butterfly? Yeah. Do you see a caterpillar? Yeah. Do you see a caterpillar? Yeah. Do you see a caterpillar? Once I've got the wall filled with all my doodles all over the place, take a picture, go on my iPad, I zoom in to make sure all the things are legible. I overlay what the sketch is going to be right on top of all the drawings. This way I can see when I zoom in where certain things on that sketch overlap certain drawings. Part of the beak intersects with this little drawing. And then just keep going and draw the entire sketch and get all the chalk off of there and then I'll be ready to paint. Alright, got the sketch all in there. I'm really, really happy with it. <laughs> I just love how kind of like goofy the mascot is. It's going to be super fun to paint the whole thing. So what I'm going to do now is those lines in the middle. Um, those need to stay there for the gym class because she'll use that like for instruction. 
the last bit of tedious stuff and then I can just be in there with the brushes. Definitely gonna be pushing myself by keeping it straight. I'll probably have to use a lot of tape, but we'll see how it goes. much slower than I'm used to with these, but staying very precise. Took my time, got the details right, and finished out the night with these lines. Kind of lucky timing today is actually Yom Kippur. As a kid when the school was closed for Yom Kippur, it was never like, I was always kind of disappointed because that means I had to go to services when everyone was excited we'd have a day off. Uh, maybe I'm a bad Jew to be excited and ready to get in there and just have fun getting lost in the brushes and bring this thing to life. This is the part where I feel the absolute most free, just letting my brushes fly, doing the fun stuff that I love around the structure that I've made. No more tedious stuff, just getting lost in the motion of it. And another thing I didn't consider about this is being inside, I'm not battling the sun, and it felt so much more engaged that there wasn't sweat pouring down. As much as I do love that and it pushes you further, this was even more incredible and happy to share this with my family. Making some good progress, getting totally filled, but time for lunch break. Let's see, uh, let's see what my cousins think when they come in. Hey, good. Let's see what you think. I got a lot done. <laughs> Told you this is the part where the most happens. It's a little different. That is amazing. <laughs> It was a perfect lunch break, and then it was time to get into the last bit of details that exist. I'm just getting the beak and the smile and that eye right. Once that's dialed, then the rest is all gonna come together since that's the main focal point. If that's right, everything else should be pretty good from there. I think I'm running out of that light blue, so maybe I'll use a light green on the bottom so then it's almost like like the land in the air or something and then i can do all the spray paint stuff after school so going into the weekend rather than trying to force that tonight i'm really happy with how it's coming out i want to finish up at least the top tonight this might have been the perfect day painting i got so much done just able to work this whole wall all at once with no distractions just need to remember this feeling and keep this going to finish it out so it all stays consistent. I'm gonna call it for today. I am so happy with the progress I got. Yeah, the entire top is totally full. Tomorrow we'll just be doing the bottom. And Bird got a little bit lost, but I know that'll come back in the end. And like, I really like how the lines kind of ended up. That wasn't the initial plan, but I think it's actually a little better. And I think I'm gonna maybe change the tail so it's like behind it. So it's kind of like flying like over those lines, but I am. <laughs> So happy with this. This was just one day of using brushes. I think this might be maybe a new record of mine. Got some great rest, came back halfway through the day and we needed to start on the bottom now, just fill that space up. I had the idea from driving around and it being Iowa that why not emulate corn kind of in my style. Added plenty of the green paint left, so started from there. So much fun and still school was in session and seeing the kids' reactions from what had happened when they were gone was so, so much fun. They even started singing when they came by. All the brushwork is totally done. Gonna take all the tape off, get it clean before I start adding the 3D in the shadow later tonight. Kind of crazy how fast this has come together. Still not done, but almost there. I love how crispy those lines came out after taking that tape off and how it actually works really well with the composition and something I'm definitely gonna think about going forward. Trying to look around different corners at things I haven't explored to make the pieces better than they would have been if I just stuck to my guns. But now to keep making the piece even better, it's time to add some highlights and shadows and push and pull it to make this thing 3D. I've got a pretty good system down for what needs to come out and adding that drop shadow and it really brings in so much more to life, but I really need to be careful not to blow out what's underneath it because I don't want to lose all that detail. The goal is for it all to come together in a way that's natural and you can see each of the different elements working with each other rather than fighting. Finishing up today, taking a little break, perfect timing because I will game. So I can't hit. <laughs> Come on. 
one last step that's left is getting the kids involved. There's a class of kids that were here when the school first opened, when they were kindergartners, and now they, they're kind of the full, first full class that's gone through here. So I'm gonna make some space on the bottom, so there's gonna be a good balance of where they can add things in, and then it'll be all done, and they get to be a part of it. Beyond just getting to see the process and understand what power of art can really do to a space and how it transformed their school and seeing that it was really just me, regular person doing it, these kids get to actually be a part of it, to take even more pride in it, and that is the absolute perfect way to end this mural. I'm so, so happy with this. Everything about this was so much fun, getting to paint this in this wall, this piece. I'm just so, so happy about it. Here is the final piece. This is one of the best experiences I've had painting, no question. Getting to travel to see family, spend time together, do what I love, get to impact their community. It really doesn't get better than that. So thank you so much, Sarah, for all the support of my madness and uh, also to the school, Alexander Elementary School, for allowing this madness to happen. And I am, cannot wait for the next one. Maybe they will be able to top this one day, but even if not, this is best.